Hi, so I'm coming at you from WQXR. Anyway, so that being said, real quick, we're going to review the view control bar. Now, the view control bar is often overlooked because it contains tools that are important to display uh, some of the contents in the drawing area. The Visual Styles button provides access to the graphic display options dialog box shown in figure 1.33. Now, um, we talked about that, the graphic display options. And in the uh, this particular view, you can't see it, right? So I'll switch it for a second, but the view control bar is here. So let me read this verbatim, and then you'll have a chance to understand the difference uh, with the differences in the view control bar. And I know, Donna Russo, the uh, environmental attorney for the city of Bayonne, doesn't want me smoking in here. But, um, you know, there's a pilot light on, and they have a piezoelectrical crystal, for Christ's sakes. Lots of shit smoking in here. All sorts of shit smoke. I'm burning in hell, for starters. You know, so that wasn't in the lease. You'll be prohibited from burning in hell. I didn't see that clause in the lease. I'm still, I'm in the risk of you know, harm to life and limb. Alright, so uh, the view control bar is often overlooked, but it contains tools that are important to uh, the display of the contents in the drawing area. The visual styles button provides access to the graphic display options dialog box shown in figure 1.33. This dialog box has settings that control the visual display of the view. These include model display shadows, sketchy lines, lighting, photographic exposure, and the ability to save these changes as a view template. If you are working in a 3D view, the dialog box also has a background setting. Graphic Display Options dialog box. The view control bar shown in figure 1.34 has options for scale, level of detail, visual style, sun path, shadows, rendering, view crop, and crop region visible. You have the ability to save and lock the orientation of a 3D view. When a 3D view is locked, you can tag items in a view. You can zoom and pan in the locked view, but you cannot orbit the model. And we'll go through these uh, from left and right and right to left so that we can remain, uh, you know, Keep ourselves from, or all those that love from deviating from center. Um, and we'll start from the bottom this time. View scale, detail level, visual style, sun path toggle, shadows toggle, shadow rendering dialog, crop view toggle, uh, show or hide the crop region. I got an itchy nose. Uh, uh, show or hide the crop uh, region. 3D view lock, temporary hide isolate, reveal hidden elements, work sharing display. Temporary view properties, hide analytical model, highlight displacement sets, reveal constraints, and then you read back. So it's like for memorization, they're like a mnemonic so that you don't forget, right? Mnemonics are, are designed, or at least you remember, like in school, uh, and I had put together a small presentation, the right hand rule, right? Mnemonic, so you don't forget. Reveal constraints, highlight displacement sets. Hide analytical model, temporary view properties, work sharing display, reveal hidden elements, temporary hide isolate, 3D view lock, show hide crop region, crop view toggle, show rendering dialogue, shadows, toggle, sun path toggle, visual styles, detail level, view scale. Now, when you unlock a view, any tags applied in the view are not displayed until it is returned and saved the orientation. Temporary hide and slash uh, isolate, comma, reveal hidden elements and work sharing display tools are next. In line, the temporary view properties button all will allow you to temporarily override the properties of view or temporarily apply a view template to the view. This enables you to change visibility settings without having to duplicate the view. Uh, figure 1.35 shows the options available with this setting. When the setting is activated, the border appears around the drawing area. Now, this is really important because I don't have the luxury of time, nor do I have the luxury of money to finish, let's see here, seven, 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 seven hundred and seventy-nine pages plus the cover, the back cover, which is thick. The back cover, this is a hardcover book, but it's a soft paper edition. So, seven hundred and eighty pages I've got to get through. And I've got what? What's our New York State unemployment? I'm a resident. 
per se. I mean, I'm in a New York state of mind, per se, right? I'm in the soda program, you know, school for the retards, one of the retarded ones. We would have a soda, our favorite flavor, cherry red. Anyway, so yeah, I'm with the retard bus. Um, so I'm, listen, if I can continue on you know, within the soda program in any capacity, I'm more than willing to continue on with the diatribe. I, I, I have no problem with that. I mean, I need fucking help. I'm mentally fucking unstable, man. I'm fucking lobbied left, right, fucking, I don't know what the fuck you're going on. I don't know which way's up. I don't know which way's up. I'm trying to find something to do. I mean, you have retards working all over fucking town. Can't I pick up fucking garbage or something? I mean, I could do a retarded job. I mean, if I'm a handicapped individual, well, I'm, I'm retarded. What do we to handicap people? I mean, I put my thing, my ow, I put in the, uh, the application with the Social Security Administration. I mean, Binder and Binder fucked me. So I those two lawyers, that one lawyer didn't know what the fuck was going on. The judge was fucking nice to come. So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm thinking I'm disabled. I'm definitely disabled. I just don't know what I could do for a living to sustain myself through a, either SSD or SSI. You know? I mean, I've worked a lot. I've worked a bunch. I was actually thinking about it yesterday. Fuck, the job, the job, the job, the job. I'm going to turn this light out. I don't want to spend too much of the PSE and G money. But I, I know that there's uh, this source, this town's got photovoltaic shit everywhere, fucking windmill form. But yesterday, the wind was so fucking fierce. And the, the, the windmill, the solar, or the, the, the wind farm, it barely, it barely cranked. It was at, like, a micro RPM. <laughs> you would think the fucking thing would be spinning. You know, you would think it would be spinning like, you know, at a frequency of, say, I don't know, the fundamental frequency, but it wasn't. It was just kind of going slow, you would think. It would be really spinning fast, but it was the opposite that held true. But I wonder, maybe in Atlantic City, they were spinning so fucking hot, they fucking flew out of the ground. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. I just know that it was windy yesterday. <laughs> so maybe they're linked. <laughs> Tug of war, per se. What, they knocked down five fucking casinos in uh, Atlantic City? Anyway, they service them with, uh, by helicopter. And there's static electricity they gotta watch out for. It's zapped. Where am I going there with this? Anyway, I put in an application with the Bay on City Hall for a, a job with the Department of Parks. I probably need that more than anything, just to throw a Walkman on with a cassette player, walk around with the stick and the, and the, the, the fucking spear, and just boom, right in the garbage can. Nice and relaxing, listen to some music, maybe even get a, a hop in my gait, jump a little bit, you know, do a little, you know, because I'm, I, I could hustle. I'm like, you know, Pete Rose to a certain extent. And I do still think that he should be in the Hall of Fame prior to his death. I'm gonna stick to those guns. But this isn't about sports. This is about mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems. So I'm doing it again. This is so like me to do this. In any event, anyone who knows me would know that I should be uh, institutionalized. You know. Maybe I should go back down to the carrier clinic and get, gr and get grounds with Margaret Pacherko. Uh, anyway, it was in the uh, American Polish vet's home with that big fucking bird that wants to rip your fucking eyes out. <laughs> Finally, there's a new button in Reddit. Anyway, so lots of new buttons, lots of new whistles. And you'll find that you'll be able to get through this real quick. You'll master it right out of school. Once you get out of school with your engineering degrees, with your construction management degrees, and all those degrees. And I'm not begrudging them. I am not. Trust me, I am the last guy to begrudging an individual with an education. I, uh, I admire anyone that can keep me in my place 
and make me mind my fucking P's and Q's. Do you think I behave in this manner when I'm around affluent people that are, are disciplined enough to know when it's time for games and it's time to be serious? Absolutely not. There's a difference in relaxation and laugh and haha, ha and when, when push comes to shove and uh, the bottom line is of tantamount concern, well, then you really should focus your efforts and keep from playing fucking games, right? Life isn't all fun and games. But you do have to balance your life. And that's what I do attempt to do from time to time. And Lord knows I probably need it. So it takes a lot of effort, one, to keep from laughing your ass off sometimes, and really getting down to the brass tacks. Because the more concise and the more uh, accurate you can model these projects, first of all, first of all, the, the more reward you're going to feel as an individual doing it, the more you'll feel as a team member accomplishing the goal, and the more you'll be an asset to your firm. Uh, or not, or not. It's your prerogative. But, you need a vacation. Everyone needs a vacation. And as far as I can ascertain, my V-Hub, <laughs> I never had one. I don't know where it went. Who knows? I don't know where it went. And yeah, I can't get into the accounting practices of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. I'm not down with Ed Hill and you know, DC local trying to figure all these numbers out. But uh, I gotta get, I gotta get I, well, the first thing I gotta do is I gotta get some wheels. I gotta get some wheels. So uh, we could open up AutoCAD, right? If we want, we could start there and say, screw it. Forget Revit. Let's just, uh, let's just change the story. We can do that. Get wheels that way, right? Because uh, so we want to show the analytical model next. So when you unlock the view, any tags applied in the view are not displayed until it is returned to its state of orientation. Temporary hide slash isolate reveal hidden elements. Work chain display tools are next in line. The temporary view properties button always allows you to, uh, or sometimes allows you to temporarily override the properties of the view or temporarily apply a view or a temper view or even a view template to the view. It could also allow you to either, you know, become a resident alien or not, or never ever be able to leave because you haven't paid up your student loan and have to uh, uh, forfeit all of your assets because you can't pay any of them. Now, this also, you know, pertains to vehicles and, and anything tangible. Now, that being said, this enables you to change visibility settings without having to duplicate the view. Now, figure 1.35 shows the options available with the setting. When the setting is activated, a border appears around the drawing area. Now, when we're talking about these things, you'll notice that you'll get the option to change gears in the software. So, the gears right here. The gears right here. All right, so, uh, yeah. This is the core drawing. Let me scrape this palette over here. Let me, ooh, come here, you. Let me grab the gizmos. Get these gizmos over there. You have your uh, 3D move, 3D orbit, 3D mirror, 3D rotate, and your 3D scale gizmo. As you can see, the colors are a little different. A little, little different interface, black and white, and then lots of colors. But we can go back to Revit. And we can go back over here. And then we can take a look at the uh, enabling temporary views and, the, and those, those beautiful things. So if, you follow, if you're following along and you come over here, you'll notice that you can move this with the scroll bar right and left, and then you could uh, temporary high view properties, enable temporary view properties, and you'll see that indeed the uh, purple border does uh, appear around the drawing. And then you could actually turn it back off. And sometimes this flicks all by itself. Um, so, and apply, uh, temporarily apply a view template to it and toggle that on and off. So this is strong. It's a strong application because then if you say, you know what, I want to look at this in um, this light. I want to look at it in this light. I want to look at it in this light. I want to look at it in this light. I want to look at it in this light. Then you will look at it in any light you want, right? Uh, like a spectrometer, per se, right? So... 
Turn off some of the lights. Because purple's violet's, you know, one of those lights. You know what you know what they say about violet, right? You ever see Willy Wonka? Anyway, so yeah, that's over uh, here. Come on, get out of there. Let's go over here. So just uh, enable them or restore view properties. All right, so now let's go back real quick over to this here. And just notice that you can zoom in and out if you want. Or you can be dimensioned. You can be dimensioned. And you don't want that. You don't want to be dimensioned out of the project because the Lord knows dimensioning something out of the project is tantamount to uh, assisted suicide, right? You wouldn't want to get caught up in that racket. All right, so what else are we talking about here? Yeah, we're talking about, you know, energy too, right? We, we said we're going to talk about MEP systems, and um, the next passage leads us to the analytical model, and um, you'll see that the show analytical model button allows you to toggle the visibility of the analytical model. Oh, that. Ah, I'm so far ahead of myself. I had a lot of coffee this morning. The show analytical model button allows you to toggle the visibility of the analytical model, which is a structural, uh, structural feature on and off so that displacement sets can be highlighted as shown in figure 1.36. Now I haven't done that yet because I haven't really created an analytical model per se, right? I haven't created an analytical model. The team has, I'm not part of it because I'm benched or something, I don't know. I don't know what happened to me along the way. I don't know where, I don't know. I don't know anything, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know anything. I do know that there's no analytical model. So if you come over here, you can create an energy model. Creates the energy analytical model. This feature allows you to inspect the energy analytical model so that you can validate it before running the energy simulation. The energy analytical model is based on conceptual masses, building elements, or both, depending on the analysis mode selected in the energy settings dialog box. And you're going to need to work in tandem with um, your uh, engineering folks. And I'm not going to say this project. I, I don't do that. This is just a tutorial. And then you'll be able to save it. You'll be able to save it, and then you'll see that it's cyan, and it's a really pretty color. And then, you know, um, sometimes, you know, there's nothing above us but sky.